Alright everybody, welcome to another Let's Play with Bones. Today we're doing uh, one of my favorite games, although I've never beat it. Uh, yeah, by favorite I mean, uh, this is the Ghostbusters game to get. It's not on Steam anymore, so if you like what you see here, you're going to have to uh, look on Amazon and buy a digital download. We're going to start with casual. You'll quickly see why this is, to me, this is the third movie. Something indeed. I'm gonna take a look. Wanna hear something really creepy? I was reading about Shand, or, you know, the guy who donated most of the gold or stuff. He was into the occult. You know, supernatural. We're doing We're shadowing. Now, the voices on this are done by the real uh, Ghostbuster actors. Um. What do I think of the remake you Ghostbusters? I won't even acknowledge it with a uh, viewer. Uh, the director basically gave a big fuck you to fans. I am a fan. I didn't mind it because there were women in it. I minded it because he basically tried to make it a social platform instead of a actual damn movie. Um, I mean, Ghostbusters is one of the best comedies I've ever seen. And it still holds up today. It is rated PG. Still amazing. Still haunting an apparition, poltergeist, phantasm, wraith, banshee, demon, spectre, tortured soul. What? No. You do not summon dead family members and catch them so you can ask the combination to the same. Yeah, well, same to you, pal. Um, so anyways, you'll see why I like this one. This is probably the most comprehensive Ghostbusters game I've ever played. Uh, I think it was a beautifully made game. I highly encourage you all to go to Amazon, look this game up, get a digital download of it, and play it. Uh, I will... Uh, well, we'll see. If I find a good link, I'll throw it in the description. Hey, it's the new cadet! Welcome aboard! This might be a little dangerous. Great. Danger is our life. We'll start at 50% capacity. That should keep any burning or tissue damage to a minimum. Hey, if you're going to burn any tissue, do it to the new kid. You can't use Ray. Our mortgage is in his name. I guess he's right. What's your name again, kid? No name is Ray. I don't want to get too attached to this kid. You know, just in case. Hey, <laughs> you remember what happened to the last guy. I like that the uh, keyboard thing is not ready to go. You may feel a little keen. Good. See our new guy. We've an extensive and rigorous training regimen that will teach you all your equipment's basic functions. It takes some time to achieve master throw skill, but it's definitely worth the effort. Was that us? I don't think so. Rain? That'd be some sort of psi energy pulse. Substantial, a significant collected and centralized necromantic convulsion level seven or more. Agreed. We need EMF measurement checks now. I know the answer, but I'm going to ask anyway. Is a level 7, uh, whatever, bad or very bad? On a scale of 1 to 10, I would say... Let me guess. It's a 7. Let's just say we're about to get real busy. And that is not the fun kind of getting busy, is it, Rick? Look out! Slimer's escaped again! No, wait, come back. I like Peter. 
Uh, I don't quite remember where I'm going. So I guess I'll find out, won't I? I guess I'm going down here. It's been a while since I've played this one, guys. Uh, I got this a few days ago, and it was on Steam sale. Let's move! And was pretty happy with the whole thing, I gotta tell you. There it is. It seems oddly drawn to the containment grid. He's been fascinated with it ever since you added the viewer to the unit. Okay, easy now, cadet. I'll talk you through this. Use the proton stream to get his attention. Some highly sensitive equipment you're disintegrating there, kid. Yeah. Oops, you let one out. That's my fault. I was fine-tuning the interspatial gasket this afternoon. I'll fix it. You two get those ghosts back. Hey, this will work out great since you're already strapped into a pack. It's a perfect opportunity for some training. Great. Taking the right precautions, Slimer's harmless. Uh, more or less. Not sure about the other guy, though. Okay, let's go get him then. Oh, and uh, don't sweat the containment unit. It's easy to get excited your first time out with the proton stream. Egon will fix it in no time. Now, first and foremost, before things get out of hand, you want to get to know your proton panel. It can be your best friend out there in the field. Everything you need to know is displayed on the pack itself. Here's where you keep an eye on your current physical conditions. The more green that's on the bar, the more damage you can sustain and still stay on your feet. This bar indicates your pack's heat level. When it gets to the top, you'll want to bent the pack and keep it from shorting out and reset. For the most part, capturing a ghost is pretty straightforward. Yeah. Break it into three basic steps. Sap them, cap them, and trap them. Spectral entities derive all their strength from an accumulation of PK energy. Blasting them with your proton stream or other offensive equipment helps to dissipate that energy. Dissipating their PK energy also makes them easier to capture. Alright, let's do this shit. I'm trying not to hit right. Do it again! See that overlay on the ghost? It indicates the current accumulation of a ghost PKE. I got slime. The weaker it becomes. Don't fuck with me, Slimer. Moving into the red, Kenneth! Ooh, we lost Slimer. There it is! Ugh, and I thought Slimer was disgusting. Basically, R is reload. So try to reload often in this, or vent your pack, as they right, say. Got good Next stage, you can project the capture stream or wrangler manually using this control. On the other hand, the pack will detect when a ghost is sufficiently weakened and auto select the capture stream setting. Get in there and throw a capture stream on that cover boom. Okay. Fantastic, you got it! As soon as your ghost is in your capture stream, the slam meter begins to slowly charge. If you want to accelerate the slam meter charge, you can wrangle or counter wrangle the ghost at the end of the line. Here's how you do that. Now basically, I'm gonna slam the shit out of this guy. There you go, perfect. Fantastic, you got it. Make sure your pack slam meter is charged. Let him have it. Come on, play rough, kid. I love it. Now we can move to stage three. Trap him. You're gonna need some place to put that. There you go, perfect. See the beacon signal coming from the closed trap? That helps you find it when things get crazy. When a trappable ghost moves into proximity to trap, when it goes by, you pull to the right. Boom. And there! Oh, yes! One escapee accounted for. Oh, and always remember to retrieve your trap. Did you get them? Ah, uh, we're batting 500. Slimer slipped up. Our cadet bagged his first one, though. A very nasty customer. Oh, and you've got to be very careful about crossing the streams. In a word, don't do it. Seriously. Stings like the Dickens, too. So see, that's not too bad to start with. Hey, how come this monk gets all the new stuff? He's our new experimental equipment technician. He gets a cool title, too? It means he gets to carry around a bunch of untested, extremely dangerous hardware that, if not handled correctly, 
could blow him somewhere into New Jersey. Oh, this knucklehead lugs around our very dangerous prototype hardware that could potentially blow us into New Jersey. Thanks. Keep the title, kid. It'll work hard for you. <laughs> Scooter? We need to go. Let's roll. Where to, Ray? The Sedgwick Hotel. Getting called First Scooter from Peter Vinkman was well worth right. the price of this that game already. I'll tell you that. Uh, as a kid, I think everybody's favorite was usually Venkman, but I actually really liked uh, Winston as well. Hey, you, you're up, buddy. Training will be on the job tonight. Try not to destroy too many Manhattan landmarks. That's hard. Now, for some reason, uh, Bill Murray's voice is quieter than the rest of theirs, so I feel like if they would have boosted his volume a little more, it would have been good. Um, but overall, the game to me is a amazing game. As you will see, this is really the first time you get to see more of this. So I was a little slow toward the introduction, and happy Halloween, everybody! It's not far away now, is it? Unless you're watching this much later than that Halloween. Disgusting green I guess it is. The 12th floor again, wreaking havoc. I demand a refund right now. Sir, if you check the fine print on our invoice... Invoices. <laughs> Right, invoices. You'll see that your warranty on rehaunting expired some time ago. You should have taken the extended service agreement. I'm getting some interesting PKE spikes here. And I love this little love letter, letter to the 80s, because like I used to eat the Doritos building. when they had that thing. Good. Dig up what you can. That little greenie shouldn't cause us too much trouble. You also notice there was a uh, Qbert machine in there. Well, hello. You're perfectly safe now, Miss. The Ghostbusters are here. Back off, loser. Never gonna happen. <laughs> that approach rarely works with me. I'll show you why later. <laughs> Peter being Peter. All right, Ace. Get ready. Dr. Stance. If you do the honors. Proud to, Dr. Venkman. Part of our settlement with the city, proton packs must remain off in heavily populated public areas. And at close quarters. It minimizes the city's liabilities and satisfies the restraining order the maid here had put on us. Where we live in today, you shoot a proton stream of highly charged particles at someone, they get all so happy. It's him! <laughs> Nice. Now we got another plaintiff. <laughs> but you see what I mean. I feel like for the time, the graphics nets were really good, too. Watch it! Contact! And in case you're wondering, you do actually get to use a PQ meter. That part is first person. We're burning daylight, Pilgrim. Can we get out of here? I feel like if somebody ever made a mod for this, they would make it so that the whole game could be in first person. It would be incredible. Alright, showtime. We wear him out, then we capture him. Mm -hmm. That's what your proton stream is for. Mm-hmm. I got it, baby. Let's be the shit. You've got him on the run! Come on, let's go! Peter! Nah, I've seen this one already. Know how it ends. You two have fun, though. I'll cover the elevators and escort any ladies safely to their rooms. Yeah, okay. And this signal looks just like your elusive little targeted entity. Your meter will flash and buzz when it detects a potential signal. The paragoggles are linked directly to your active PKE meter. This lets you see otherwise undetectable phenomena. All uh, right, I think we get trails, to use my PKE meter now. All kinds of cool events. Now, when the center bar peaks, you're headed in the right direction. When it's flat, you're following a cold trail. Line the target up with the smallest circle for the best scan. Nope, losing the signal. Way to go! And then yes, token spirit guide is in there. Green indicates an environmental paranormal anomaly. Blue means an active sample. So yeah, 
Again, for a Ghostbusters fan like me, he grew up in the 80s and went nuts over Ghostbusters, and was one for Halloween. Getting warmer. This is a incredible game, uh, and it's not very expensive warmer. usually. Depending on where you can find a digital copy. Getting a good scan is sort of like. Careful. Got him. Got Slimer. Now the environmental ones are cool too, because, uh, if I remember right, you can lead to some cool easter eggs and things. It's been a while since I've played this, I guess I guys, and I, I purposely picked this one for two reasons. One, Halloween. Two, uh, it's a great game that, honestly, I think I'm one of the only people on my friends list with it. Whoa. Or He's the only one. Definitely been here. An active sample is something you can collect. Like a cursed artifact. Mm -hmm. We get paid extra for everything we scan and collect. Then we roll it back into research and development. The extra funds let us experiment with new equipment and offensive technologies. Which, in turn, you get to wear on your back to test. Remember, you can always review techniques, tutorials, and equipment in your online Ghostbusters field manual. That's it's right. all accessible from your PKE meter. I'm accessible from my PKE meter. Peter, come in. You okay? Uh oh, man down. We've got a man down. Go, go, go! Yeah, come on, go. shake a leg. You can move faster than that, can't you? Double time, kid. He's been slimed again. Hustle over here and help him up, will you? How did this even happen? I was covering the elevators. That mutant Stromboli snuck up on me. God, funk the fire again. When one of us goes down, we always help each other out. That's it's another quick thing about this game. Oh no, my friend. That was back in the pre sliming era. Right now, it's all about payback. You guys need to get down here immediately. Our live-in science experiment is tearing apart the lobby, and he's not alone. More ghosts? But we gave this hotel a clean bill of health five years ago. New people die every day. Call the elevator, Junior. If you notice, they do a very good job at calling you everything but cadet all the time when you die. Did you mix it up? Um, what I like though is that this game to me really feels like you're part of it. All right, Slimer, you've had your fun. And the face work the is really good. Off limits. Egon, come in. I think we're stuck in the elevator. We need some help. Think we're stuck. Well, let's see. Think we're stuck. Think we're stuck. Think we're stuck. Ray, you guys uh, good with officially stuck in the elevators? Show of hands. <laughs> Here it comes. I think he's like. <laughs> Kill it, Ray! Need a hand? You always fail me, don't you? Yeah, I really wish they'd do another game like this, so I'll, I'll be honest. I think this one's friggin' awesome. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Whatever you do, gotta catch these little bastards, because. Reasons. Shockwave really stirred the nest. Oh, yeah. Man, this lobby is so wrecked. Can we please call Winston and tell him his night off is officially ended? <laughs> oh, More of them! So, yeah, basically, this is your ghost clustering game. I hope you are enjoying this let's play so far. I, for one, am definitely enjoying it so far. I got knocked down. Oh no, I forgot to vent. Watch it. 
I'm gonna hit Slimer really hard at this point. They've split up. Ray, follow me. The others are floating back upstairs. Bankman, you two pull our friend Slimer into a trap as fast as you can. There's a massive bulge in these spikes indicating this isn't just some routine clearing job. He gets so bossy when he has a minute to his nap. You see what I mean? I feel like Rankman is really, really quiet in this. Um, that's my only complaint about the game, though. I feel like the humor is a dead on Ghostbusters. Hey, yeah. Is that honey glazed ham in prime rib? There, the Alhambra ballroom. No way he could pass that up. Absolutely not! You can't go in. The Rodriguez bar mitzvah is set to start in half an hour. I'll bet the beef brisket is today's special. And you've done quite enough already. I'm sure the thing will just go away. I, I'm willing to risk it. You're not going in there. That's all we needed to hear. All right, we're out. Coffee time, everyone. Service has been declined beyond this point. Sounds like the Alhambra's off limits. The schnitz, you say? Nobody slimes Pete Fagman twice and gets away with it. Be careful, Peter. Remember the Ellis Island incident? You bring your apron? We're gonna take a little shortcut through the kitchen. Back home, baby. The Alhambra should be right through here. Hello, chef. It does sound good, actually. Okay, champion. You leave for a while. Now, as you can see by the PT meter, clearly something is all screwy here. Also, that would be a good indicator. Alright, don't touch the slime. It's slimy and it's extremely dangerous. Apparently this guy goes to busters. Look, it's not my best joke. I do it. I do want to one thing that I like as well about this game is that the actual music from the game is in, or from the movie is in the game. And I feel like that just lends a huge amount of authenticity to it. I don't know if you just saw what I saw there, but there was a special ghost that came out of nowhere. This is actually a much longer mission than you think, so I don't know if I'm going to do the whole thing or not, but I can tell you now, it's uh, pretty extensive, this one. Yeah, and you can also freaking upgrade them, which is awesome. Let me show you what I'm talking about here, guys. So you can do uh, focusing. I don't have enough yet. This is why we're scanning, though, because, see, we can decrease all sorts of stuff here. Oh, maybe this is the money I already have now. I don't, I don't, oh, okay, this is the money I have. Fast trap. This is ghost trap, draw down rate. Reduces beam wandering. I feel like to start with, that's a good thing to do. Right off the bat. Uh, can't get that one. I get that one. But look, at least I started with one off, off the. Uh, so yeah, started with one right off the bat here. This is why I eat out of the can. 
Podium trip, what am I doing? All right, check this out. To trap them, you've got to grab them, and to grab them, you use the other half of the proton wand, the capture stream. That's all there is to it. You just throw the junk anywhere. We don't stick around and clean up. So as you'll see, there, there's a lot you can do in this game. Uh, in particular, I'm excited to show you all. You know, I thought that guy said Rodriguez Pons, huh? <laughs> there he is again, that son of a bitch. Another thing I like about this is it kind of, although it's a tutorial, I like games that do active tutorials, you know what I mean? I'm going to take back him. Blast him until he's dazed, and then throw your capture stream on him. You notice too, a lot of this environment is destructible. I dig that as well. It's a lot of fun. Yahtzee. Perfect. See? That's a big wow. That'll teach that pitiful goop sack to slime. P. Vengman. And by extension, you. Perhaps a place sitting disturbed? Still pretty much ready. Full go for the Rodriguez blowout. The Alhambra Ballroom. The Bar Mitzvah. What have you done? The guests are arriving in 15 minutes. What seems to be your problem? Thanks to me and my new exclusively assigned recruit here, the festivities can now proceed in an entirely ghost-free environment. So, you're welcome, huh? And, uh, to the Rodriguez, Allah Chaim, from the Ghostbusters. I love it. I love it. Nice of you guys to join us. That's Grab right. Little spot. Ray, we need to have a heart to blob talk with us. We are in a distance. Uh oh. Heads up, your initiation is over. Now give us a hand. We've got a couple of really persistent, troublesome spirits here. What's going on about trying to make that money? Look, oh, shit. I said I only hit one. As you can see, there's a lot of them. Zip, zippy zapping around, baby. Got a zippy zap them. Jesus H, they're everywhere. I like missionaries, you know? Always at your door when you're trying to relax. I can't be the only one that's me. Get in there. You're not going. Yeah, got him. Aim high. Not trouble. Oh yeah, I forgot. You you pay for the stuff that you uh break in this. Come on. Get him in there. Get him in there. Yeah. I don't know how many I can fit in one trap, so we're gonna see, guys. Slam this time effort. And we'll just aim at a trap. Doesn't really matter which trap. One of them. I don't really care at this rate, let's just get one in there. Keep working! I used to think the general consensus, if I remember, according to one of the shows, was it was three ghosts per trap. 
Maybe that was the old video game, I don't remember. I used to have this game for Sega Master System. Ghostbusters. Who is going to pay for all of this? No need to worry, sir. As you know, the mayor rode to office on a strictly pro-Ghostbusters platform. And we now invoice the city directly for all captures and eliminations. And unhaunted New York is a tourist-friendly New York. That's right. Oh, but damage. The mayor and the city have taken out an extensive insurance policy as well, so you're covered. Honestly, I'm sensing some hostility here. Perhaps we should just leave the ghosts here, if that's what you would prefer, sir. No! No. I tell you, like, no! No. Be discreet. Discretion is our professional watchword. Hands up. All right. Whoa, now I do want to scan. I suppose we should go after him, unless you want to discuss it first. Get at Go with Doctor Spangler. Check out the angry fisherman. Okay. Well, so anyways, guys, some things coming up soon. We will have a new line of. Uh, Let's Plays, of course. We are going to be doing more with our puppet friends as well. I do apologize that we haven't in a while. Uh, we have been planning a wedding, so it is... Uh, we've, we've had about two weeks of no activity here. However, that is going to an end now, and this coming week, starting uh, what again, you will, you will see more stuff. Uh, Game-wise... I would like to say that I hope you all are enjoying our Let's Play today. Not a lot of crazy reactions out of me today, I know, but... This way! Looks like he's drifting upstairs. Ah, dude. I know this one, though. He is a tough ghost, actually. It's more like a weird level. Like his face is like... Like I said, the levels in this are fairly long. We're gonna see what we can do. So now I mean Egan are splitting up. But whoever did the level design for this did a good job. And they give you enough freedom when you're on your own in this that I feel like you can really explore a lot. And have a little fun with the game. The jerk. Yeah, so. More specifically, a 7,000 cubic meter bathtub filled with electronically charged seawater and sea cucumbers. I do, uh, I do think that for anybody who really grew up with Ghostbusters or is a huge fan, as you guys can see, if you don't own this game, you're really messing out. This is a treat for Ghostbusters fans all over. One of the highly recommended games that I can tell you all if your computer is not the best, it should still run alright. I'm on Windows 10. Quad core computer. We got a GeForce 1060, so not the monster sort of thing, but um, you know, not the biggest, uh, not the biggest. What would you call it here, guys? Thing by far, I'm sure, but decent, you know, good enough. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like for this. Uh, a skin improvement would be like a must have. I don't know why I sound like a belly girl right now. I don't need to. Not, not be like just a good thing to have. We're using our PK emitter to track down jerky pants, so I feel like this is a good idea to upgrade this. Now, I don't think I go back down here. No, I do not. So now we're going to see what I can do on this side of things. Get out of my way, man. Right. I see I don't want to be here. I think I gotta go. No, I can't go there. What am I doing? Yeah, 
can't really go up there. So he's back in here somewhere. So now it's a matter of where is the spooky ghost? Where is the spooky ghost? Where is the freaking fisherman? Where is the freaking fisherman? They're like, phones never seen again. Oh shit, there he was, there he was, I got him! A skin that I'm a perfect. Yeah, right. The hell? It's supposed to be in my mental here. Tell me about the semi trans dimensional rift undies. You'd think we would have mentioned that. Everybody knows that you have to talk about the semi trans dimensional rift undies. Right, guys? Did I trap myself in the game? Okay. Okay. I can't move anything, but I certainly did uh, zap the shit out of that. Good enough. So nothing down that way. But anyways, I hope you all are enjoying your evening so far. Cluster of sights and scenes. I love it. I feel like that is a. Uh... Oh, but you just put a spooky ghost on it. I don't know if that's lazy writing or brilliant writing. One or the other. Uh, now, we had two other Let's Plays planned this past uh, week. Um, one blue screened on me, so that was obviously a no-go. Uh, and I never even got to the point where I was playing with other people. We were gonna do a funny multiplayer one. Uh, with Star Trek Online. Some of you already know, I, I am a Star Wars fan, I'm not a Trekkie. So the jokes there were going to be pretty obvious, that I was going to ask them all sorts of craziness about um, for example, where is the Jedi Temple, um, you know, just goofy shit to have fun with it. Never even got to that point. The server was going down when I was recording the video. I started to get past the tutorial. So what I may do down the road is reinstall it, finish the tutorial, start it off past the tutorial as a let's play. Do a little spiel about finishing the tutorial. Just get to an area where people are. And just see what we can do just exploring and goofing off in that sort of world. Um, down the road I'd actually even like to do Star Wars Galaxies. Because there are fan servers of it still going. Even today. Uh, yours truly can tell you that it's the one multiplayer game I did play. The Star Wars Galaxies was back in the day. Uh, Post CU, I guess it's called. Some people liked pre CU better. Uh, I could see how, but at the same time, I found it rather confusing to get thrown into having only played post CU. I don't remember where the hell I'm going this now, so I guess we're gonna find out, aren't we? Hope this out with that. I need to get somewhere near the right quick anything. So we're gonna go back to where we came a little here until I feel like we're somewhere of interest. We apologize for being so chatty, by the way, guys. And, uh... Can I go up? Uh, oh, right there there was something, wasn't it there? Shit. Are you kidding me? The damn little ghost there. Fight it. So yeah, I do apologize for wandering with you guys. And uh, I know that part of this is probably a little slow, but I'm doing what I can, man. So these things here are like little creepy crawlies. We got red, guys. We got red. 
Big Goombas around. So in the comments below, uh, whether you're watching this post-Halloween or pre-Halloween, why don't you guys tell me what you're going to be this year or were this year? One or the other. Whichever one, just tell me what your costumes are this year. How about that? That'll be our discussion for this video. And if you're not going out this year, then tell me what your favorite Halloween costume was. The favorite one that you were. I'd like to know that. Anybody out there have a favorite? I'm sure, like for me, my favorite one that I ever was. One of my favorites was Scarecrow. The first year I was a Scarecrow because it was like almost Wizard of Oz Scarecrow. So a little lame, not scary, but uh, a lot of fun. Really dug that costume. We put a lot of work into that costume, and it was one of my favorites by far. Whoa. Uh, so I thought that was a great one, and then, not long after that, I even did, uh... A few years later, I did another one like this, so that one's pretty neat, too. Alright. I gotta go the other way to get there, I think. Yeah, we did one, uh, last year, I wanna say, where I was again a scarecrow, but a creepy one. And that one was a lot of fun, and went... Uh, downtown here and uh, enjoyed quite a bit of that. There was a whole giant group of people looking at all the houses on the streets and that was a great time. Uh, so what do you guys do for Halloween? You guys tell me, what is your go-to for Halloween? You guys go to parties? You know, that's what we'll do. Post a link of your favorite Halloween memories. Or not a link, just comments. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Basically, ignore old bones on the, on the... I don't know. Ignore my weird wording, and just basically tell me your favorite Halloween uh, memories in general. Let's we'll just consolidate it to that, shall we? Is it an outfit? Is it somebody you met? Did you meet, like, the person you're with on a Halloween? Did you... Uh, have a favorite outfit, you went to a favorite party, what was your Halloween, your favorite Halloween memories? I think as a kid, all in all, as a kid, Halloween was awesome. You guys should look up some Halloween commercials sometime. On Halloween day, look up 80s Halloween commercials, and you'll see what I'm saying. Halloween in the 80s was amazing, guys. You don't even know the crazy amount of commercialization that went into it, but the crazy amount of cool stuff that went into it, too. I thoroughly love uh, Halloween as a kid. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that your time sucks for Halloween. I'm just not a kid now, so I don't know. I can only relate to what I went through. Uh, there was just something cool in the air. VHS stuff lent a really weird, almost, um, I don't know, almost crazy time for Halloween where everything felt a bit magical and crazy and weird and just fun. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed Halloween as a kid, man. Um, and I knew stuff was changing because as the Halloween years went on, there were like, different restaurants that would do stuff like McDonald's had a commercial for wearing like uh, reflective stuff so that was a big thing oh now we're somewhere important guys I thought I could scan these fish ghosts but I cannot this guy's a bit of an asshole here the fisherman Sorry, I was trying to be quiet for a minute so you guys could hear the background of music. I wanted you guys to hear that. I also need to pay better attention to my to my uh, pack heat. So right there, you can see on the right there, it's a little orange, so let's vent it. Gotta destroy some stuff, it's not fun unless you do. 
and a telltale sign where the ghost is if you follow the ghost fish. Let's do this. Are you all right? Nice going. You might really be the right person for this job. Yes, Damn right I destroyed a significant section of a five-star New York hotel in just under three hours. Your mother and I are so proud. <laughs> are we done? You got something. I Let's like track it down. Uh, I mean, who didn't like my you know? I'm sure somebody nowadays would be triggered by anything, but uh, he's his age. Get over it. I think he's scan. funny. See what you find. I'm scanning, motherfucker. If you see this shit, if you see this on me, that's my scanner. This is my ghost whoopie doop right here. My, 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 oh, Jesus. Now they're gonna come and help me, basically. Wrangle it up. Wrangle it. You've got him on the rope. To the right. I don't know what the heck is going on with my mouse right now, but it is not my friend. We're going for the big guy right now. You got him! I thought I didn't like knives and forks flying at me, but when knives and forks become a big angry giant, that's really me not liking it. A lot. Happens every day, right? Anybody here from Zetamore? Oh yeah, guys. Uh, guys, I'm right outside, and so is somebody else. Gosh, we've missed you, partner. Glad you could make it. But first, how was I eating? Well, we had to make do with uh, this new specimen here. I've been trying to get here for over four hours, Peter. Traffic is a little bucked right now. Wait. I know that thud. Winston, what do you see out there? It's me. It's clean and soft and white. And you all are going to like it. Yes, your first mission deals with him. So, it's incredible, guys. I'm telling you. I'm going to end it after this uh, section, but... Felt like I haven't done a Let's Play in a while, and I uh, do apologize for that. And we are back, baby. We're back. we got a lot more going on. I have uh, requested a few games that I think that you guys will like, so hopefully the devs of those are willing to uh, throw us a key here and there, see what we can do. If you're a developer and you want us to let's play your game, shoot us an email, and we will gladly do so. It wasn't me this time, I swear it. Pull it together, Ray. What do we have that can stop that cheap confection? Ray, weren't you going to finish up the install of the Super Slammer today? The Super Slammer? It sounds untested. Tacky and exciting. I'm in. But will it work? Against the minions of a god, that was never the intent. But in theory, I suppose it could. But a Wuhan trap of this capacity has never been used or even tried before. Uh huh. And why would that stop guys that don't know any better? Yeah, man. What are we? The FDA? We'll have to clear a path through this mess first. Okay. You see who it is? It's our friend, guys. And I could not be more oh, excited. Oh, the president was animating. Lord, help us. Stay busted somehow hatching these mini minions from himself. 
Well, there's paranormal physiology for you. All the something in your stomach. Never some little yarpers. Yep, they look so good with taste. Blast them! You know, I actually haven't had marshmallows in a while. Is it me or is it you're always hungry for marshmallows when you never have them? Am I right? Um, no, yeah, I, I highly recommend you guys check out some old 80s videos. If you have not seen any in a while, um, as far as checking out like old 80s ads, and you guys will see what I mean about why I certainly love Love to the 80s as a kid. I feel like there's something. Get him. Um, yeah, to me, I think Hardy's was a big thing, uh, a lot of these things like Elvira, before cable, old TV channels used to have movies, because, there, you know, there was no cable, so, they are even like, made-for-TV movies, uh, I remember when Halloween, I believe it was Halloween premiered, first time on TV ever it was advertised, that's, that's how... Old school I am. But this stuff. There was just a sense of we need to have a talk about power. There was just a sense of wonder about the eighties, I think. And it's not like it's not there now, but I will say as much as I like the internet, and I do, obviously, I'm on it. We're here, we're talking. But, uh, yeah, I feel like, to me, one of the things that I like most about uh, the 80s that I feel like the internet did do is it took away the sense of something significant. imagination and wonder. What is that? Am I hearing wings? The hits keep coming, baby. Bring the shit out of these kids. Okay. I don't remember the vent attacks now. I keep forgetting the vent. Oh. My name is horrible. What is this? Interesting. Ghosts and gargoyles. What's a game? Ghosts and gargoyles. A game we played when I was in the seminary. Ghosts and gargoyles. What? Dink game didn't you play? Do you have your eight sided dice with you? Apparently, Vinkman's not a uh, Dungeons and Dragons fan, right? Yeah, one big thing I highly recommend is that you all scan the shit out of every ghost you see in this. The more quickly you upgrade all your stuff, better you're going to be the rest of the game. If by the first level you have not at least done one thing for your recoil and all this, you, you should. Where's Winston? Let's go help Winston, because Winston's my buddy. I got you, bud. Got me. That is gonna. Find some cover. Okay, 
Yeah, a lot of ghosts in the Ghostbuster game. It's F because it's Ghostbuster game, so there should be. But so they did a great job with this team. Man. It did hurt, son. Oh yeah. Boom. Well, I'm Bones. I'm gonna end it here, guys. Thank you very much for watching the Ghostbusters game. I uh, hope you have enjoyed this Let's Play. And we will see you all soon. So you guys have an amazing day. I'm out. Ooh.